Hi, my name is Tahia, and so today I'm back with another tutorial. So this is the follow-up of the previous um, tutorial on how we can um, create a question list for the process of um, requirement elicitation. So this is uh, so in the previous video I already already talked about um, the question list how to formulate the file and also the general questions that we always ask and in this today's lesson uh, we will delve more into the um, question related to the requirement of the app itself so uh, for example uh, this is the app uh, we have been learning so this is a food app uh, and we will start to make questions based on this design and so without further ado, let's jump right to the tutorial. The first screen, so when you open the app, it would be the splash screen. So there is no question within this screen. Um, and then uh, it will go to um, the screen where you can have the authentication sc um, screens. Uh, so take a look at this. We have some components. So this is the logo of the app, the skip button, um, the carousel here, and uh, two other buttons. So I think the first question you should add is that um, the carousel here will be will be auto scrolling, and uh, there would be no behavior when you touch the pictures of each item. Of the carousel okay so uh, here we can have the um, component at authentication or the number of the screen um, so let's say okay you can say authentication um, and here you I think is screen item of the carousel okay so the first question um, Next, I think I will. When you look at this, um, it could have email, password, and confirm password. So uh, you want to ask if um, the email needs to be a valid email. So yeah, I mean uh, you require um, the user to click um, the validation link. Uh, sent to the email uh, when signing up. Okay. This the second question. And next about the password. So, is there any rules related to the password? Okay. So you can put um, some example here. For example, it could it could be like at least. Um, at least a character and uh, you want to ask if um, any special character is required okay for example mm. yeah so next okay sorry okay so next uh, we will have the skip button here uh, so uh, you want to ask the question whether if the um, it, it is required to log in to use the app okay mm. use the app. okay so if a user is not uh, has a login um, game um, he place an order okay this is a question uh, how the client will react with that okay is this one clear so taking a look at this uh, you can see that there is a list of food here so I want to ask if uh, these food are hard code which is always be like pizza, burger, sauces, or it will be 
automatically render in the backend itself. So uh, you can see here this is the uh, home page. is hard code or automatically render from the endpoint um, so you want to ask if uh, what is the behavior associated with the add to cart here so what is the associate uh, behavior associated with the add to cart okay so uh, you want to ask if uh, navigate to the cart or just uh, some or just uh, uh, information pop up okay so next here we can see that it is a delivery too okay so for this one uh, for this one you can put the address and you say that is the delivery address needed to be um, verified through Google uh, Maps input. Okay, so uh, whether if the users um, they can input like a very random, or do we need to uh, put it in like a Google Maps API in order to get it verified before uh, we can put it in our database? Okay, next uh, for the menu, you can see that the have and the privacy policy. Um, so uh, you can ask if uh, Z2 page are kind of um, a static page because it would require uh, less effort. So this is kind of like the last screen. You can hear, see you can hear, uh, you can see the complete order and the pending order. But say it's uh, not clear whether the, what the pending order would do. So you would ask if um, order is the page, the pending order, the order, that are uh, being delivered okay and then uh, here you can see that uh, there is a couple of payment method here um, so you want to ask if um, the user um, how many payment method is supported Support it in this app. In here, uh, so I guess when you click the um, add button here, it will show the payment. But here, uh, so another thing is it, it, it's more from a technical side. So uh, if you just uh, create a form to to input this kind of information, it's very risky and um, may not the user card information so you would suggest that um, um, for the card uh, adding payment method I would okay so you would say that I would suggest uh, using 
the form of another party. So it could be Stripe payment or the other stuff. It would be um, suggested by basically, uh, but it's good for a PA to be knowledgeable about this one. Um, and the last screen, you can see that go back to home. Okay, so I guess the home would be uh, the X, the night, the screen 19 over here. So you can see that uh, you can make a, a question. So when the payment is the same, uh, in user click OK, uh, is it navigated to the home um, page, which is uh, screen 19? So I think this one is pretty clear. Yeah. So this is the question list that I currently have. Um, there are obviously there are a lot, a lot of things that uh, I can delve into and make question about. But within the scope of this video, I will make um this one kind of like uh brief and um to get to help you get the hang of what how we can ask question based on the design file. Um, so if you uh, have any kind of new question here, you can put in the comment section below. You can also, um, okay, so if you want to um, to have this file for reference, you can um, comment your email below. I will send uh, you through that email. And next up, uh, we will learn some uh, email etiquette when sending the question list to the client and also how we can combine the question list okay so I guess this tutorial will be finished here we will have to do some kind of uh, trimming to make the document look nicer yeah it's look much nicer now okay and don't forget to add in the question order here okay so yeah so this is the complete um, question list uh, that you can send to your client. Oh, yes, this is the end of the video. So uh, you can learn more um, from this series by hitting like, subscribe to support my channel. I really appreciate and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.